All right, so no issues this time. Got it. That's great. Well, that was a thing. Sorry for the uneven start. We were having technical issues where, okay, now it says the video is interrupted. But at least I'm saying this. Good morning, Mary. Let's see. Come on, can you refresh? Can you refresh? There we go. So, good morning, everybody. Paris, Mari, and Elliot. I also saw Todd and one or two others, which I now can't see because. Technical difficulties this morning, yeah. For a while it wasn't seeing the server we used to do the restreaming. So yeah, we'll be throwing with, with the red clay today, especially after the popularity of the uh, posting on the Greek golf cart patterns. It's working now. I stole its network cable and then I plugged it back in. That seemed to have reset things. Because I'm like, okay, well, I'll try this again. Well, Norton, let's see them. If you log in now, you log in. Fine. See if I can bring that up. It can bring it up. It's okay, the error fixed itself. <sighs> so Oh, yes. Now you need your phone back. Now you need your phone. We're here. Yay, red. <laughs> Marion is on, on and commenting. Cool. Um, we threw these just stand around. for my phone over here. Though. Yeah, we threw these with what roughly thirty ounces. I think so. <laughs> Let's see. Bring that up. Bring that up. Um, also, we celebrate the fact that. that we actually have a customized URL on YouTube now. No, we I are now been... not YouTube slash not channel good. slash gobbledygook. It's YouTube slash C slash Reddit team. That's 35. Oh, there we go. Okay. One. There. You now I can <laughs> see things. Now because it's too far away for me to see it across Mirror the room. text. Ow. Okay. Now I'll turn this on. Get this. We had the untraceable technical difficulty for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe 15. It just it seems longer. It seems like longer when you're fighting everything. Yes, courtesy to um, King Posting. We um we managed to get us up over that thousand subscriber mark over on YouTube, which we do have the much friendlier. Block of text? Yeah, but it's not coming up over here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I can't really touch the screen with my hands right now. No. If you could like Oh I can no, you can okay. now. Remind me. Remind me. You to hand you the head of the enemy sometime. Bang. <laughs> My Zen moment of the day. Thank you. Why don't you place me in this great Zen? Yeah. It's very relaxing. Well, for me, it's very relaxing because I've had lots of like practice. practice. Decades. So how many of those cups for the, the the cup holder cups do you want to throw? And Probably would you like me to bring in one of them? Bring one of them in here. We have this request for Viking style cups that would fit in a cup holder of a golf cart. It's for a Great Western War. And I got 
got them, finished painting them, and posted them onto the fan page. And well, everybody seems to really like them. So I'm going to be making more now. People have ordered some. So yes, we'll be taking more orders. Okay. okay. Good morning, I Matt. I didn't grab the tallest one. I Judy grabbed the one with Schumacher. the tightest shape. That one. That one. Yes. Now I'm going to set this right there, right in the center of her view. And you said six-ish? Yeah. Okay, I have cut off, you have one, there. 20, was it 40, 50 comments on that picture I posted last night? It's just, and it's okay. Plus comments. Closing in on 500 reacts, and was it still 15 shares when you left last? When I last looked at it, yeah. And it's also, oh. And 11 of those are shares you can't see. But people are, and two, let's say four people have ordered them at this point. In addition, in addition to the original order. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be making more. Yeah. You sure you want to do only six? I bring my chair over here. All right, now. We have four orders. One of which is picked up, so we have, have like we Matthew Brighton is watching. Good morning. So that would only need three for open stock. Yeah. <laughs> you can always throw more. Yes. And with this first piece, we'll see if I cut you off the right size of piece of clay. So the one I have to thank for this order is Rowan. Rowan with an E. Yeah, I'm tiny. Yes. And Norton stuck a message on the phone with a box. That's more than point enough. Hey, Norton. Yeah, go. Hey, is your computer slow right now? Would you like no, me to run a check of something? Not when I'm streaming. It's fine, Norton. This machine hasn't had enough time to develop slow funkiness. See if someone's very kind post. We went from having 64 subscribers on YouTube to 110. 110 last look. So we're closing in on having doubled it in the last four hours. Yeah. That's YouTube for you. Though. Yeah. And that it needs is the right person to share. I'm thinking I need to cut you a slightly larger piece of clay. Oh, maybe good. Yeah. It has to be small enough down here, but yet it has to have enough volume for hot weather events. For their silly ones that oh, I'm right around on golf courts at events. Which are generally warmer events. Yeah. I couldn't imagine how nasty it would be riding at the speeds that those things go at in cold weather and then the windshield would pass to you. That would be nasty. And you experienced some of that that one time that you helped out at Australia and it wasn't particularly cold that year. No. But those things have no shocks. <laughs> yes. You are not a fan of the lack of shocks, are you? Oh, that was so uncomfortable. Okay, so your next piece. Well, and that's what happens when your finger catches. Catches. There we go. 
1800. Scott is watching. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so that next piece there is 34 mm -hmm. ounces. So the only curvature part that that one's different on is right there. It'll still fit nicely into the cup holder. Yes. Assuming the cup holder dimensions that we're utilizing are good. Yep. Because it's on that sheet. I think it's inside now, but I can go get it. Because that way I have. Oh, this was. Actually, no, remember. It's three inches across and three inches tall. It might still be marked at the right thing. I will see. It fit within three inches. Yes. Uh, a lot that was, of oh no. That's my um shrink rule. Shrink rule. And then the calipers. So I can test. Test to see if it's the right size. <laughs> Look at a bit that just kind of trimmed off. Thank you for being a splatter. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> Glad I could help. Hey! You don't need to add to it purposefully. Aww. I'm okay, boy, I'll be fine. I'm good with the naturally accruing clay on me. Thank you. Amara is watching. Good morning. Now she gets to make more dice. Dice. We. I'm going to start with something other than 20 grams this morning. It's in treatment, no extra charge. Yeah. It's kind of some of the, you know, it's a, with the um, <coughs> porcelain, it really could be considered a beauty treatment. Yeah. I mean, New York hands that, what was it, one, two month period that I mean, it couldn't do any drawing because we were in the process of moving and setting up the shop. That one to two month period where you didn't do any throwing, you actually had issues with the skin on your hands. Yeah, I was getting rashes again. But yeah, and no extra charge. It's kind of like, yeah, when I do demos, is I always try to, the kids are standing there and I'll ask them if they want to shake my hand. <laughs> the horrifying look on some of the kids when they accepted the offer. Priceless. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's like, Okay, yeah, catch it, and then look down at their goo-covered hand, like, now what do I do? How can I hand them, you know, what? Always make sure there's a way they can get it off before I do that. Also done that, um, to, like, teenagers and such, or, yeah, the macho young men. And inevitably, if it's a group of young men, You'll have one that'll shy away, and then you'll have one that'll go, oh, I'm going to do it. And then the other buddies will left, because then he has a dirty hand. Yes. Slimy gets satisfying. Yeah. And some of the varieties actually do get somewhat slimy. Yeah. It'll be less of a thing now that our clay is stored indoors. It was significant on certain clays when it was stored outside in our previous place. Because it was stored out on the driveway. Um, It'd be developed by... Certain, certain clays will develop growths on the outside of the block, shall we say? Some of it, it looks like it probably is algae. Algae. Because it gets sturdy like algae, too. And yeah. there's other times where it's like, it is a slimy growth. Well, it's supposed to be, you know. It's supposed to be. It's a sign of good clay if it yeah. gets moldy. Is there One time mold? I had problems with this red clay going moldy. And it got algae a couple of times. No. Oh, had to oh, clean. Yeah. You had one issue when you actually ended up with mold growth in your wheel head. Only the one time. Yeah. I never was never sure quite what caused that. But I actually had to clean the wheel head with like vinegar to get rid of it. Vinegar worked. It made it a non-microbial friendly um, environment. It was only from the right clay. Every time I used the right clay with the Mold. stuff, you know, 
Because why is he white and black? He just ick. Well, we were living on the coast then, too, so. There was a lot of local mold spores. Yeah, local growth. to um, double check the diameter in the bottom of the cup. This? That? Will it fit? Yes. And see, at this point, it's still going to shrink by 12 to 14 percent. Which is the reason why she was using the shrink ruler. Yeah, but this clay is inconsistent with in its shrinkage. Yeah. Which really sucks. Not has much of a good grief aggravation with um, cup size pieces, but it's really significant when you're working large molds, say making some um, amphora pieces that are in excess of 10 inches high. Mm -hmm. Also, or, there was one person that got upset because it was off by half an inch or an inch. Yeah. And we measured it accurate before it was fired. But that would not actually shrink more than usual. That bag of clay. That one bag of clay. That's why it's, it says it's our approximate. And if there's an important reason why it needs to be a certain size, like say you live in an RV and your cupboards <laughs> are only so big. And that was and, a time when the clay didn't shrink quite as much as normal. Yeah. And they were a quarter of an inch too big. They didn't fit in the shelf. And they actually thought seriously about um, sanding grooves into their cupboards. <laughs> I will remake them once. Because also, she mismeasured it by oh. like a half an inch. And then they were a quarter inch off. Yeah. Because we tried to make it fit within the measurement. So the problem when you're using tight... Um, Ratio of tolerances. That was the black clay, too. Though. Which actually has the highest shrinkage rate? Yes. This one ha comes in as second highest? It depends on the day. The day, the weather, the batch, how throats in that particular piece through. It's an environmental art form. It interacts with the environment. Every single step of the way. You can have a flaw in your piece of clay. Well, yes. The weather changes suddenly. Something can go kaboom in the gym. It reasonably did. And of course, one of them might be one of the pieces that went boom might be an order piece. Mm. Which I am Doing my best to get the um, redo of that piece dry right now. It's the reason why we have some fairly sizable fans that stay in the area around the kiln. The flame's not art for in the house. That would be silly. The plane needs it more than we do. Sadly, must get back to work. Thanks for sharing. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And for anyone who comes in and catches it briefly, always go back and watch the full version later. Either via um, here on Facebook, over on um, YouTube, or on Twitch. Whatever your preferred video format, uh, video viewing platform is. Okay, follow us on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube. Unfortunately, it always defaults to friend. I just got it switched. Oh, good. I'm like, oh, wait. I remember a thing now.
Yeah. Hmm. Jim is watching. Good morning. Good morning. Doing cup holder cups. Cup holder cups. I These scripts are made specifically to go into cup holders. In the Greek style of construction and decoration. But they are made to go into cup holders because they are made to go into the cup holders of golf carts. Mind yeah, the, that's what the original order was for. It's for um, staff at Great Western War. They asked if we have them for this year. Last year. Yes. And so I even have the cup holders in mind, assuming they have the same golf carts this year. Yeah, or that there's some rough um, standard when it comes to cup holder size. But yeah, we also measured our ones in our car. And the ones in our newish folding chairs. Yeah. So, they will fit cup holders. Because we had rough dimensions marked down on the order form from last year. It is roughly three inches across. And it's like, is that really it? So I went and got one of our folding chairs. Finagled it so I can get to the um, cup holder. Like, okay. It... Reading three inches on the interior measurement. And these ones are the shape they are, so that the lower portion of that will fit into the cup holder. There's the bell at the top. Where's my, my oh, tools over there? there. Jay, hand it to me. Uh, on the table? Nope. 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 Oh, just send it to me now. <laughs> And the reason why it comes back in, both on the example and the rim all the first two, is so that it has some form of anti-sloshing action when it comes to saying go and move the bumps in the Hopefully. I'm sure that I know. We, I'm sure we'll get some feedback on how well the shape works uh, about a week and a half. Yeah. It changes. Oh, that was an interesting variation of the shape. Yeah. They're all going to be a little different. Oh, yeah. So what you're doing is far more interesting to me than what I'm doing right now. Which is doing good dice. Dice. Well, he broke dice. Which size are you making today? Um, I'm starting, I'm doing the polyhedrals. Which shape? I'm starting with the 12 side. I should probably switch over to 10s in not too long. I know I've done a lot of 20s and I know that I, I never have done enough. Oh, so I may yeah. do some 20s. 20 sided sure. cylinders like five times as fast as any of the other. I need to make Five twenty siders for every one of any other die. And the thing is, is the second most popular shape. It's like twelve siders. Yeah. Oh, I, there must be a game that has. Gotten... Well, what I've what I've heard is that it's not an issue with having a game that they go with. It's people get twelve siders. As specimen dice. Okay. Because it's a die they don't use often, so they'll get uh, the quote unquote weird dice specifically in 12s. Or specifically in reaction to the meme, your 12 sided die cries itself to sleep at 9. Yes. Oh, I didn't go back through and make more of these up to 34 ounces. These last two. So three of the six were 34 ounces. And then we'll try and remember next time we throw these what size. That's part of my job. Remember how big a piece of clay we need for which shape. 
my job is to throw the shape. And some shapes don't throw the same every time. I had to. Depends on the, the individual batch of clay. I can tell this one is from the corner. What this the, piece? That piece is from a corner of the bag? Yes. Because it's stiff and somewhat uneven? Yes. I'll probably turn off the heater. Oh, you're right. Come here, power button. There we go. We just shut down the heater for out here. Right before the first frost warning, first frost which is good. This weekend. So, starting this evening? Yeah. And it's kind of, you couldn't have waited till after we got back from <laughs> You meant this going to be yeah. hot in the 80s, oh. maybe 90s. And now the high is around 62 here. Temperature shock. It's yes. not bad. And it's kind of like, not just bad for clay. And for the little cutters, too. Uh, but I have to say, our, our heat resistance so far this summer has been improved. Yeah, just been clicked back over to. Oh, yeah, it gets destroyed. Yeah. yeah but it now. takes like a month, a week to a month to adjust to. Yeah. Which is a thing. We'll see. Yeah. Later Here's hoping later for a, you know, a, a nice temperate Great Western War. Yeah. Yeah. Temperate for there is about 80. I'd be happy with 80. I'd be happier with 70. But I'd be happy I'd with be 80. ecstatic for this. <laughs> it would freeze the locals, though. No, and, you know, not everybody would like that. My God. But I like temper that kind of temperature. But we personally are are perfectly comfortable with that kind of temperature range. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, I'll take the 80s. Hopefully, low 80s. Low yeah. 80s would be wonderful. But it's not like you have any. Nobody has any control over no. that, really. So it's kind of like. No. Last time I looked, it's supposed to be in the low to high 90s. Uh, Let's go 90s we'll see. Yeah. Low to high 80s. Low to high 80s. Okay, I, I said, said the wrong one. But I'm like, really? Like, okay, 80s. 80s. That's so somewhere funny. in the 80s. Somewhere in the 80s. Good. Lows overnight in the high 50s. Yeah. But she'll be uncomfortably cool for the locals. For people who are used to hot weather. For people, yeah, because it's going to be like 40 degrees below their daytime active temperature. For us, it'd be like, oh, look, we can put on a coat. Yeah. So long as we're not moving around a lot. Shouldn't be. No. Your backup assistance this year. Yes. And I hope the email we need to go through. Should check to make sure that the settings are right on the laptop too. Oh. Oh yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Your and the phone. And the phone. I mean, we changed it on your desktop. And cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. Muscle and eye twitching. Yes, after we do throwing today, it'll be back to draw and paint because we live such an exciting life. Yeah. Nice thing is we have all the windows so we can see. As long as it's not too active, a wind, but you can see the 
breeze blowing through the trees. Yeah. Hear the I like wind having, chimes. I like having, uh, having all the exposed view. And so does the cat. She likes the windows that face the backyard. Because our cat comes out with us into the shop, so long as the temperature in here is over 60. We want the poor little old lady cat to get cold. He, she gets cold easily now. She's a short hair cat and she's 16 years old. So after you throw this shape, what are you going to want to throw next? I don't know. Oh, people like, like to see me throw next. And considering you've got some of the red clay going, you to throw the interesting things. Mm -hmm. We don't have any writers at that stage at the moment, so you can't throw next. Well, that isn't particularly interesting to watch. No, no, it isn't. Because the pleasure is watching. It's right next, look like basic trumpet shaped cups with very thin bottoms. Actually, no, you don't throw the bottoms thin anymore because you just, when we cut the bottoms off those cups, we all um, have little plates. Little mini dishes. Yep. But people like to see me throw next. You're still running, you're still low on pictures. I don't know. Uh, you don't want to do that? You, you want to stick with things with no handles? Good. Suppose, or it could just do mugs. This mug is a particularly even in consistency, so I wouldn't say anything so, too big. Okay, so mugs as a good default, unless we get any other suggestions. Yeah, Eric Sim is watching. Good morning. It's still morning, it's quarter of noon. Yes. It's over kiss, you can't really tell the passage of time because there's no shadows. Yeah. It was sunny earlier. Yeah, it was. <laughs> You've got cat ball on the shelf now. It's like there's no sun and there's nothing to watch in the backyard right now. Nick. Now, so this is about the time of the day. You can have to take a nap. This morning, when I was making coffee, she demanded playtime. Uh, one more piece of Do you want to do normal size mugs or do you want to do slightly oversized mugs? Just do normal size mugs. Here's the clerk is watching. Good morning. Mm -hmm. This, as I said, probably big pieces aren't a good idea because it's not very friendly client. Okay. My apologies. That was one of the boxed ones. That wasn't one of the old legacy box um, bags. Yeah, oh, just saying. Yeah. Holder Greek cups. Most of which will probably have golf cart seats. Onto there was the one uh, custom order variant. Skateboard. Skateboard. Skateboard we can do.
post um oh my god post a link to this video to that thread mom yes it was good gee i wish i thought that i take you off the cat yeah Try not to get too much clay just idly on the floor if I can help it. Because anything down there will have to be cleaned up eventually. And we've already um, washed the floor in here once. Hmm. Proved to be more friendly than I feared. Well, it's vinyl flooring. Yeah, and there's no carpet adjacent to it. No, it's. Was a sudden meal. I.e., it had been Meow. a covered patio at one point, and ha that has been well eaten. Cat ball. Oh, the tummy. <laughs> Where the lap is if you want it there, okay. cat. Oh, I'm getting a dirty look. Yeah. I went over there, petted her, and then left. You didn't stay over there with her? I didn't stay over there. That's dreadful. That's just horrible. Last one of this. Yes, so I need to cut you up on this. I could do beakers, I suppose, too. And that would be a handless option. Yeah. And I think those beaker side pieces create some of the least wear and tear on it. And if you do want to call it before we hit the end of this bag, I can only add water to it. Yeah, we can do about four of those and we'll see. Okay. I don't think it'll be a really long stream today, so. It sounds like that clay is being. It's not friendly. Either that or we can. Ah, just stop after this. Okay. I just tried to take my fingers off. Oh, not fun. Okay, yeah. I will, as soon as I finish this trimming the thigh form. It, it's not getting any better. Yeah, which, oh, well, there's no guarantee that um, the pieces that were from the top of the bag were thrown first because the way I would stack them. But yeah, I will. was watching. Good morning. Good morning. to be rehydrated. Back. Yeah. I was just looking what other bags, purple bags, I have down here 
Do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you got tired before we finished. The muscles just said, no. Yeah, just make dope. One, two, three. There's like three pieces in the back. Flair is watching. Good mm -hmm. morning. Almost lunchtime. Good day. Yes. There we go. Moderates and a small. seems to be going a lot smoother than doing that initial shape design. Oh yeah. Let's figured out what worked for the shape. So it's coming up with something that's like, okay, had to hold between 16 and 20 ounces, had to fit in a cup holder, and preferably something that had some sort of anti-slush factor. To check to see if it's the right size, I do that. Yeah, that's just about the right that's ma maximum diameter that it can be. So yeah, I'll just smooth it out some. The side benefit to using a heater in here isn't just that it makes it more comfortable for the humans, but it also keeps the humidity down some and keeps the temperature up some so it doesn't have to be it's not as harsh on the clay. So the clay will actually dry. And so the clay would actually dry. Because come in the winter, that really is an issue. Yeah. That's one, one reason why the things that came off their vats the other day, we put pretty much immediately into the other part of the studio. So, I need the garage. I need the garage because heat source. It's kind of cozy out there right now. It and sure the floor is. is quite a um, comfortable temperature under foot. I'm going to put off a lot of heat. Oh, yeah, considering it goes up to 2,000 degrees. That's a low fire load, so, um... Only 1,800. Uh, I was firing to be 1783. Close to 1,800. As I said... It gives me an exact readout on the screen now, and I enjoy it. Our kiln has fancy electronic controls. And is internet enabled so we can check on it when we're not looking at it directly. There's a little app for the phone. It's, it's so fun. It's not so fun. And also if we were to get an error message it would give more elaborated information. Rather that than is error one. Yes. It means it didn't 
It didn't fire fast enough, so it shut itself off. Yeah. Thank and you. That's so helpful. And then our little kiln is currently uh, um, down. We don't need it as often when we have the, whole, the, the big kiln running. It's more of the tester size or the student projects go in there. There's a chance that they may not fire safely. But that one, it, it called error one to us and then spat a whole bunch of data across the screen, which unfortunately we did not have a method of recording easily at the time. It didn't used to give the... It didn't used to give the diagnostic data like that. It just say error one. Error one. List the temperature it got up to before it aired out and then go back to it's holding the screen, which is whatever the current interior temperature is. Yeah, it spit out all the information went to the, and the went to home that. screen. The and home screen, yeah. And they're like, when we were standing there, like, well, that data would have been useful. Didn't know it would give us it. No. Going up. So none of these ones are going to get handles that go on higher shelves where if it, well, things dry more quickly. One of the silly little details is that, yes, if you're getting into pottery, learn the patterns of your drying area. Which shelf dries faster? Which shelf dries slower? Which shelf is best for long-term um, storage? Whether it's the front or the back, the shelf that dries faster or slower. Because sometimes there might be a draft that scoops along the back of the wall. These shelves here, it's actually the ones in the corner against the, between the wall and the window that they'll dry faster than the things at the front edge. I know why. Yes, because that wall is not terribly well sealed as a deal. Meow meow. Meow. Meow meow. What's up, Kathy? Just wanted to join in the conversation. One thing bangles are not as quiet. Yeah, well, that would make what make life very interesting now, would it? No. That's. I'll go to my tin set and move back. Make one or two of the French tin setters. And no, we never ever run out of scrap clay for dice. So what shape is that one going to be? There's an interesting knuckle ribbles in the <laughs> sort of thing. I don't know how it is. It's the perfect amount of clay in this in the form, and there's not even any flashing. Bottom of the cups, it's not going to be just all wood color. 
It's not morning anymore. <laughs> in that last batch of, oh cool, it's like a little, um, it's got a little bit of a gobbly foot to it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did get that last batch of dice that I painted into this disc firing. doing getting closer to my order yep I need mean, yep there's I think some test tiles to use we have in the this load yeah one of the glazes is on back order so we need to contact the company yeah because we're gonna need more than one glaze to attempt making a burgundy that's what that's speckly yeah hey, key, key. Glaze chemistry is not wizzy weak. It's kind of yeah. on, girl. No. So, bye bye.